Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to a brand new series on the Raspberry Pi. In this series, I'm going to be focusing on Python coding and specifically using the Turtle library. So let's get started. So let me show you um, how we do it. So you start, you go to menu and then programming and you can see there's quite a number of different um, programming software but I'm going to specifically focus on Python 3 so when we click on it it's going to open in um, idle and uh, the shell sorry and you can see this is the shell because it says shell over there and it's got these three uh, greater than signs over there the hassle that could um, be there when you're using the shell is if you type any of the commands in here any instructions you can't actually save it so um, I don't actually use this uh, shell much um, so I always go to file new file and then we can see we've got uh, a notepad type um, area so this is the editor and in here we can type our code and we can actually save it so uh, let's get started so the, uh, the library that we will always be using for turtle looks as follows so we're gonna say um, from turtle import everything so we use the asterisk so from turtle import everything so um, off the bat you can see it's a little bit small I don't know if you can read it properly so I'm just gonna make it slightly bigger I'm gonna say configure idle and I'm gonna change this to maybe 16 so you can see what's going on I'll just apply them so okay and I'll just move it uh, let me just make it a little bit smaller so the window fits in there and uh, I can make it even smaller because we're not going to use that much um, in this video. So there we go. So from turtle import everything that I'm going to enter. And uh, so you'll always be using that to start off with in, in this series anyway. So then I'm just going to enter twice. I like to leave a bit of a gap. And we're going to start. So the two commands that I'm going to teach you in this one, we're going to make a square by the way. Um, so the two commands we're going to use is simply forward and then I'm going to use my brackets and I'm going to say how far forward so let's say 100 forward and then I'm going to turn right 90 degrees so right is always um, angle right and left is angles and forward and so on is the um, how many how many steps you go forward so and then we're going to just repeat that four times now I'm not physically going to type it in I'm going to copy it control C and then I'm going to paste it and I'm going to paste it again and I'm going to paste it again so we've got it four times over there so how the code works we import from the turtle library we're going to um, from the library we're going to import the turtle um, item or object from the library and uh, we're going to use we're going to import every single instruction that has to do with turtle and then we're going to go forward 100 turn right 90 degrees then we're going to go forward 100 turn right 90 forward 100 and so on and so on so to run it we're going to say F5 and we must save it and I'm going to just name this one square as you can see there square and then I'm going to save it and then the turtle should draw a nice little rectangle there we go uh, sorry square there we go so that's a little turtle thingy and it went forward 100 then it turned right 90 uh, went forward right 90 forward right 90 and then forward again so there's a little square so if you if you manage to do that you've just drawn your first shape your first shape so let me just close that and close that and um, now I'm just going to put in some comments so I'm teaching you a third thing now actually a fourth thing because that's the one you're always going to use and then the forward command and the right command so I'm going to um, show you if you put in a little um, hash sign there or let's call it a hashtag that is just for comments the the code that is not ready if you run the program that is just if you want to make notes for yourself so I'm going to say that uh, edujo wait actually I'm gonna say drawing drawing a square and it's going to be edujo that's done it and the date for today I'll just put in brackets the date today Ooh, what is the date today I don't actually know um, let's go there Wednesday the 6th of April so I'm going to say 0604 2016 right so uh, I'm just gonna F5 and then save that and then we should get another view of drawing the square that's quite cool that is quite cool 
So um, I'm going to stop this there. It's a very short video, just over five minutes. But if you've managed to do this, you have just drawn your first shape, and that is a square. In the next video, I'll show you how to very quickly um, draw uh, maybe a triangle, pentagon, hexagon, or whatever. Maybe look at colors and so on. And then much later, we will be looking at patterns and all sorts of things. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little video, the introductory to Python. And um, I'm also going to show you how to make this code, this code a little bit shorter by applying some iteration. So we don't have to type eight lines of code, but we're going to do maybe three lines of code or something like that, um, just to make your code a bit more efficient. So thank you for watching. Um, if you did like this video and you're going to follow the series, please remember to subscribe or give me some likes and so on. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.